Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. I thought we could have a little chat today about some new products that I got from Ulta recently. I try to keep up with these haul videos, but I know there are always some things that kind of slip through the cracks, don't get mentioned in a haul. But I just wanted to share a little bit about these products today. There are some things I'm really excited about. So let's jump in. I'm gonna have a drink of my, oh, I just realized like, I look at this coffee mug and my denim shirt, I feel very Pioneer Woman-ish today. A couple things that I ordered, and these look so fun. Look at these face masks. Yes, I think they are supposed to look like those animal faces. I got the otter face mask and the brightening panda face mask. <laughs> so maybe me and Tyler can do these, or my friend Kaylee's coming to visit. Maybe she'll want to get in on this with me, but look at how fun those are. <laughs> the brand is SNP Shining Nature Purity, and I think they had some other kinds too. I think what I need to do is host a spa-themed party. Everybody gets a face mask and then we all play palette bingo. That's how that'll go. Who wants to come? I will most definitely be taking some pictures or some snaps with these puppies on so you can see what they look like. Um, another skincare thing that I found online were these CeraVe makeup removing cleanser cloths. They say ultra gentle and uh, gently removes dirt, oil, even waterproof mascara. And they have a little label as being accepted by the National Eczema Association. So that's always a good thing. So while I adore CeraVe and I have I've had a lot of luck with different skincare items they have. They are up against like one of my most holy grail beauty items period which are the Olay or the Equate daily face wash cloths that you just you know moisten with water they're dry and then they suds up and you can remove all your makeup. I love removing every stitch of makeup on my face with those. So will these measure up? That remains to be seen. So I will try these and let you know. Another little skincare thing that I still need to try is this Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Radiance Facial Mask. I have smelled this scent, this coconut and hibiscus scent in different body products that they have and I haven't taken the plunge yet and bought any of those because I'm loaded on body wash at the moment but the scent is so good and I saw online that they came out with a face mask and it says um, with Sanji mushroom for dull skin so we'll see how this goes but it smells oh it has that delicious floral but kind of tropical scent it's so good I'm gonna need to do a big old like skincare update or maybe like a favorite face masks video if anybody's interested in that. Another thing that I got is uh, an eyeshadow palette from NYX. They've got these um, palettes that say NYX Ultimate on them and this is the one labeled Warm Neutrals. I was thinking about getting multiples and then I thought, you know, maybe just get one and see how the quality is because sometimes it's, it's hit and miss, you know, with these NYX palettes. I've had some like the Avant Pop palettes and the little like everyday palettes that have the blush and the bronzer and highlight in there as well and the quality of the shadows in those palettes is just amazing and then you'll find some other things and it's just kind of like eh, kind of hit and miss and I feel like some of these are hit and miss as well certain ones are absolutely gorgeous NYX is doing a great job with like reddish shades deep mattes seem to be really good some of the lighter mattes seem a little bit more on the sheer side but you really you can't judge a palette just by the swatches so I'm gonna need to apply these first really see them in action before I can give some definitive opinions. Now while I was in my local Ulta store just last weekend I did not expect to find this item. Uh, it's been sold out on like Sephora's website, Ulta's website, Too Faced website, but then they actually had it in stock in my Ulta store and it's the Too Faced Peach Palette. I really convinced myself I didn't need it. The reason why I went ahead and got it was so I could compare it to some other things and so people who are interested in this but can't get their hands on it anymore can have some alternatives because I've got something from Makeup Revolution that I talked about on Snapchat recently. It's called the Neutrals versus Neutrals palette and it's got some similarities to this. Not every shade is a dead on dupe but there are some close things happening there and there are some gorgeous shades in here. I mean I think it's a really pretty palette. It's kind of strange to me that there's not even more peachy tone things happening just because like there are several and I mean how many peach shadows do you need I don't know but there is a little splash of purple in this palette a little bit of green I'm excited to play around with it but I really do think I'll be able to come up with some things that you may be interested in that cost less and can give you similar looks now I've got a whole lot of makeup revolution to talk about I got a couple of their vivid baked blushes so um, everything I've tried blush wise from makeup revolution has 
has been in a palette form so far. But they've got these. They kind of look like maybe a Milani blush at a glance, just that baked style. And this is in the shade um, Baked Blusher, Bang Bang You're Dead. It's a little extreme, don't you think? Um, but it's a nice cool pink. And then the one that I'm wearing today is called make love instead. So warm pink, kind of peachy pink versus cool pink here. I think I'll add a little bit more. Really pretty shade though, has a nice sheen to it. Isn't that nice? Mm, yes, I'm digging on this one. This one's going to be a nice, I think, summertime blush for me. I'll give you a couple little swatches here so you can just see the difference in tone. Lots of sheen. They're definitely blushes that take on a very brightened look when they catch the light, but then when they're not, they start to look a little bit deeper. That's why I kind of like applying them just, just maybe a hair lower than the actual apple of the cheek, and I think they give a really pretty effect that way. I also got a couple of these blush sticks. I got the one blush stick and the one highlight contour stick. So this highlight one, I was wearing this on Snapchat recently, and when I swatched it, I thought, you know, I'm not I don't know, it doesn't seem like anything that major, but on the skin, it's so beautiful and glowy. I'm already wearing another highlight today, but what's stopping me from layering product over product, huh? A little bit of this, a little bit of extra glow. Mm. It's capable of a pretty darn intense glow, and if you, can you imagine if you took this and then you topped it off with a little bit of like a powder, really shimmery powder highlight, you would just be... I also really like the blush stick too. Um, of course they can't put the shade name on the bottom. It's called Matte Rush, so it's kind of a warm reddish orange shade, and it's actually really beautiful on the lips or the cheeks. Um, I was wearing this recently as well. Really nice and creamy, easy to work with, super pigmented. To me, this is like summertime color in a stick. You know what I'm saying? It's coral, it's bright, but yet it's got a little depth to it. So yeah, if I were Makeup Revolution, I would market this thing as summer in a stick because that's the color tone that I think of. Outside of the bronze, just kind of neutral tones, you know, this is the color that I think of when I think summer and makeup. And so then, you know, I just kind of blend it out on my hand and I just look like I've got a little reddish rash going on. That's how I go about my day, like in public, is always like partially rubbed off swatches because I'm constantly swatching. Okay, more blush and we're getting into Makeup Revolution palettes now. I've got easily over a dozen Makeup Revolution palettes, like a huge video. It, we are on the cusp of it. I know I've said it like five times, but I am really, it's taken a long time to truly familiarize myself with all of these products and give them the um, trial and error that I think they're due. Because there definitely so far have been some so-so things. Not everything is just an automatic home run, but there have been some great Makeup Revolution palettes too. Um, but I saw this blush palette. It says blush palette melts and they are all creams. And so far I gotta say I'm not really loving them. Not that I need like the thickest richest texture for a blush, you know, for it to work for me. I think a lighter texture can still be fine, but they feel really really greasy to the touch. So far I think the only one I have worn has been this kind of deep coral shade there, and that actually seems a little bit thicker than some of them, so I don't know that they're all an identical texture. I'm a little concerned what would happen to these on oily skin because they just do do feel so slippery to begin with, but truly as I look at my blush stick that I have my matte rush here, like this texture is, is very different from what's in the palette. It's a little bit thicker, but it's still really creamy and easy to blend out. And if I could only keep one, I would definitely just stay with the blush stick. The blush stick. I would keep the blush stick. A couple of other blush palettes. I have blush palette queen and blush palette goddess. Uh, blush palette queen first off it is all shimmer all the time and frankly a lot of these shades look very similar they're pretty like i love just looking at the the marbled look here don't you feel like you're looking at like a satellite image of earth if the earth was pink the bottom line on this palette is light pinkish or pinky peach shimmery blushes and they invited one wild friend along that's a little bit deeper. It's one of those situations where, yeah, they're pretty, but does it constitute having a palette full of eight shades? Could a duo or trio have just as easily gotten the job done and basically given me, you know, several different colors to work with? The blush palette goddess, 
yes, this, this is where it's all happening here because everything in here is something unique, doing something different. I think everything in this palette has earned its spot, you know. You've got four matte blushes and four different kinds of highlights. The highlights really vary in tone and intensity and I love that. I like having options where that's concerned. And then the blushes, you know, you can bounce around, you can mix them, you can, you know, layer different colors over others. But it's peach to n kind of neutral, almost like barely their color to a light cool pink and then a deeper pink. So there's a lot of variety and nice quality in this palette. So if you're a blush and highlight junkie, I think you'll enjoy. I also picked up an eye palette. This is the Redemption Palette Iconic Elements. And what I think this is, is sort of Makeup Revolution's take on the Urban Decay Naked Basics 1 and 2. Anyone want to weigh in there? Because it's almost all matte except for one shade that's pretty shimmery. Today I put, let's see, this like second to last dark matte brown in the crease along with this shade right here. I used the shimmery color and one of the other light colors um, on the inner part of the lid. And was there anything else I did? I might take in this peach color and use that to kind of help me blend things out. And it was really nice. I enjoyed working with these shades. It's for the most part a very cool matte palette. It's not really um, going toward those rusty or reddish browns and stuff like that. So if that's what you're into, this might be worth checking out. I got the Alme One Coat Multi-Benefit Mascara. It has nothing to do with the fact that Carrie Underwood is the spokesperson and the one doing all the ads on TV for this thing, or maybe it does. Um, the brush, it reminds me so much of L'Oreal Voluminous. It's just, you know, a full brush. It's kind of on the big side. And for me, it's okay. It's good, but not great. It definitely holds the curl better than Voluminous does. Um, it lengthens all right. I feel like the blood, the blush, the brush can get um, a little bit overloaded with product and I have to spend some time kind of working some of that off. But good about holding the curl, like I said, it also, I was able to wear this on my lower lashes with no smudging or smearing, so that was nice. Also, I think the Alme mascaras tend to be pretty good for sensitive eyes. I suspect I'm going to like this more as it gets a little bit older, like a few weeks in, because I've only been using it for a solid week now, and the problems I'm having with, you know, the brush feeling very overloaded with product, that will probably start to work itself out with a little more time. But holding the curl for me, that is a very important thing, so I'm excited to see that. One other thing that I'll just throw into this haul, I did get that Mally Today's Special Value that was on QVC a few days back, and it's called The Good Life Handpicked Essentials, so it came in that box, you got the makeup bag, and a bunch of different products to try. She has some, it looks like a revamped formula on her shadow sticks, so that was a big reason why I wanted to get this. There's Smoky Quartz, which is kind of like a, a mauve taupe type shade, and then the other one you get is a very brightening color. You could do some sandwich method with those for sure. I was wearing these, uh, I think it was over the weekend, and they go on really easily. It seems like there's a little more moisture in these than the regular shadow sticks, but I love the fact that they still set, they don't budge. There's a new powder foundation. It's the 4K Ultra HD Fantasy Foundation. And I thought a couple of things when I first got it. First off, it's dark for me. And I got medium, and I guess I just shouldn't be getting medium because I think I got a medium with a Laura Geller thing and it turned out to be too dark as well. But like, three or four years ago, medium was fine for me. Maybe this will be a good summer foundation, who knows. It's super soft, it feels great to the touch, and when I also looked at this, I thought, is is the product downsized? I mean, it's just, it's not overly packaged whatsoever, but I thought, am I getting less here? And then I looked to compare it to my um, It Cosmetics Celebration Illumination Foundation, and you're actually getting more in this compared to the It Cosmetics. It comes with a really nice feeling brush here. It's it's stiff. It's kind of like a dense duo fiber brush. Uh, definitely built to create some coverage with this product. And for me, with it being a little bit on the dark side, currently I'm not going to want to probably use this brush with this product because it's just going to lay it on too thick for me. For me to make this work at all, I'm going to have to shear it out some. But I do like that brush and I might even use it for some liquid foundations. It looks like there is a new lip product to Mally's line called Lip Shellac and it's in the shade Cherry Blossom. I know there was a cherry blossom shade with her high shine liquid lipsticks that click through and so this is going to be a very shiny 
full colored like soft pink. I like that it's not super light baby pink. It's definitely a wearable pink. I was wearing this the other day. It's thick, um, but it has some staying power to it and has a lot of shine. And then the last thing is the More Is More Mascara. I really like the Mally Volumizing Mascara, so I, I wasn't quite prepared for a new Mally Mascara to come out. We're dealing with a brush that reminds me a lot of Benefits They're Real with the little spikies on the tip and uh, rubber bristles. It was pretty good. It built a lot of length. It did it pretty quickly. I have only used it once so far, so it's going to take some more use before I can really chat about that a whole lot. But I just wanted to show you um, that was the TSV and I'll be using that and working some of those products into my routine. But thank you guys so much for watching this haul. I hope it was fun for you and I will see you again in my next video. Bye!